Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you what I think may be the very best deal on a smartphone currently available uh, today, 2017, or possibly next year as well, 2018, is the Moto E4, and it's the, uh, you see it there, it's the Verizon version, and these can be bought right now for about $40, $40, and this phone is only about four months old, only came out about four months old ago, uh, four months ago, um, and these can be bought for $40, which is quite amazing. And, uh, oh, I got my receipt in there, I'll pull that out. <laughs> uh, there's the phone, eh, blah, 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 and all this stuff. I'll do a review afterwards, uh, talking about the phone, there's a bunch of reviews, but, you know, for $40, it has a lot of good stuff on there, like a, a fingerprint reader, a selfie flash, which I've never seen on any other uh, phone, quite frankly. Um, but what makes this such an amazing bargain for 40 bucks is that, it is actually unlockable for GSM carriers. You'll see a lot of phones that are completely locked for good deals. Sometimes they have an iPhone 5S, but it can't be moved off of the network that sells it. It's subsidized. It actually says, it says right here on the back somewhere. Uh, blah, 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 blah. In order to par partially offset Verizon makes affordable service, it can only be used with Verizon prepaid service. That is no true. And this can actually be unlocked to use with any GSM carrier, which makes it a fantastic bargain, I think, for $40. So, the first thing you do when you uh, get the box is, before you even open it, you have to go to eBay, and here we'll pull that up. So what you do is you go to eBay, and you pull that up right there, we'll uh, put that there, okay, I'll make this a little darker, okay. So what you want to do is, before you even open the box, you go to eBay, and on the side of the box, first I'll show you, on the side of the box, the EMI, IMEI number is here, and that's what you need to unlock the GSM portion of the phone. There's also another one on the bottom. Uh, you can get the IMEI uh, down there as well, uh, but it's also on the side. So the first thing you do is you go to eBay, and I'll put the link. I'll put the link down below on 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 where to find this. You go to eBay. I'll make this a little darker. And like I said, I'll put the link below on how to find this. You go to eBay and you find the Moto E4 Verizon Unlocking Service. And they're about $2, there's a lot of them. Uh, this one here has, they've sold 6,000, so I figure, you know, that's, that's gotta be legit and all that, right? That's gotta be good. Uh, so anyway, you go there and you, you want to buy that for two bucks. So you press buy it now. And then, review. And so here we are on, on, the, on, the, on the payment page for the unlock code there. And see it says here, message to seller. You just wanna click on that. And you want to put in your IMEI code. Uh, oh, and of course, autocorrect doesn't like that. And then you just add that number to the uh, payment there uh, in the messages in the payment page. Uh, and then they'll send you back the unlock code. So I'll do that right now. All right, so after about five minutes, I finally got my unlock code back uh, from the eBay seller. And now it's time to do the magic. So we'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and I uh, can see that. Oh, there it is. We'll go ahead and open up the box. And uh, oh, that didn't stay together very well, did it? Oh, look at that. Look at you, Verizon. You can't even make a box that'll stay together. Oh, uh, Verizon, this is a very this is a poor quality box there. Okay, there it is. Okay, so that's open. And we can. I don't, what is this? It's a very strange packaging. Slide that through there, like so. And that, that like, back, and that's tough. Okay, there it is, all right. So there we have the Moto E4, and uh, let's take that out there. Got a charger at the bottom. Eh, kind of Apple looking, it's white. Which is interesting because the phone is black. And, well, I guess I'll give you a quick unboxing. So there's that, and uh, there, and, uh, oh, so this has a removable battery, which is actually, Something quite cool that no new phones come with. It's amazing for forty dollars. They can give you. I'll talk about it later. Like I said, for forty dollars, they can give you all this. But the uh, you know the iPhone ten is a thousand dollars. It makes you wonder. It makes you wonder where all that money's going. So there's the battery there. I kind of get it out. There it is. So you can replace it when it dies. There's the charger. Kind of big. Uh, Motorola branded, branded, and the, the USB cable, standard micro. Uh, I'll take a look at this real fast. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Little pamphlet thing here. Is that open? There we go, like so. Oh, all that. Oh, Jesus. A lot of paperwork. 
Oh, meet your Moto E. Look at all the cool stuff it does there. Look at that. Activate your Moto E. We're not going to be doing that, Verizon. Yeah, I don't think if I'm buying a phone for forty dollars, Verizon, I don't think, I don't know if I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be paying fifty dollars a month after paying forty dollars for the phone. Uh, customer agreement, uh, radio frequency stuff. All right, so back to the phone. So this is very important. This part. Do not. Turn it on with the Verizon SIM inserted. That is very, very, very important. Do not turn it on. Uh, if you put it, if you turn it on first time with the Verizon SIM inserted, you will not be able to unlock it anymore. Uh, and that's not what we want because we're frugal and we like we like to get a bargain on our phones. And I'll cover up the IMEI. I think that's all good. Okay. It also has a micro SIM slot. Something you don't see. So there's the Verizon SIM. So like I said, we will take that out. We are no going to put that in there. And I can, it's very... Uh, we'll move that about the side out. Okay, so after we took out the Verizon SIM, then I'll put in my Freedom Pop SIM, that is. Of course, there's no in focus. Oh, focus camera, can you do it? No. Okay, Freedom Pop, a nice free service there. You pay $6 and basically you're good to go. You get 700 megabytes forever. Uh, so I'll put that in there, but I can't even do it on camera, so I'll take it off camera for a second. Alright, so there's the Freedom Pop SIM is inserted up at the top, the Verizon SIM is out, and we will put in the battery here, like so, and let's go ahead and power it up. Uh, I took the back cover off, like you saw earlier, so I don't know where the power button is on this. Uh, Okay, uh, interesting. I should have read that manual, I guess, a wee bit. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> where is the power button on it? Okay, I put the cover back on there. And there's the power button, it's on the side there. You can't turn it on without the cover. So I'll hold down that button there. And okay, it comes with power, that's nice. I'll take. Now, let's take the screen. Oh, there. Let's take the screen cover off so we can see what we're doing here. Oh, there it is. Another nice thing with this phone here. I'll turn the brightness down a wee bit there. Hello, Moto. Moto is very colourful these days. Look, they're so trendy. Look at all those cool logos they have in there. Um, what was I going to say? Another amazing thing with this is it's almost stock. Android, they got rid of all the uh, they got rid of all the the bloat, all the the stupid uh, stuff they used to, uh, all the stupid crap they used to put on Android that would slow it down. The motos now are almost completely stock Android, so it's almost like getting a it's almost like getting a Pixel phone for a lot less money. So you can see there, the first thing that pops up is the code, the unlock code, the one that we got from eBay. So I'll go ahead and do that off camera and get back to you in a minute. So there it is, I typed in the unlock code, and now we will see what happens when we press enter. Uh, yeah, submit, of course. Uh, let's see, fingers crossed this works here. If it is, we get the bargain of the century here. $40 for this phone here, if this works. The unlock code. Uh, this may take a few minutes, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Alright, so now we have the startup screen, and uh, for some reason it's starting in, uh, what is this? What is this? It's got to be Swedish or something. What is that? Okay, I don't know why that came up. Okay, we'll go ahead and put in English, of course. Uh, United States there. Okay, let's go. Oh, the SIM card is not from Verizon Wireless there. Oh, is that so? You don't say. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, next. Uh, I'll do setup as new. All right, so now I will uh, continue the setup and get back to you in a minute. All right, so I guess we'll start the review here. One of the amazing things uh, with this phone, the E4, uh, for $40, which is, I think, extraordinary, is it actually has a fingerprint reader on it, which is something that even my, even my, uh, my uh, Nexus 6 here, which is also a Moto phone, you can see it's a wee bit bigger. Uh, it doesn't even have, which is quite quite amazing there. Um, but it does have a fingerprint reader, so we'll go ahead and see how well this works. We'll start the review right now. Add fingerprint. Uh, 
Uh, say fingerprint plus pattern. I uh, will do that. Why not? Okay, we'll add the pattern. Okay, added the pattern there, so that's done. And now we'll try the fingerprint. Uh, let's see how this works. At the bottom of your phone. Okay, next. Okay, get ready. Tap. Uh, you'll need to tap your finger a number of times to record your print. Well, we use my thumb, because I usually unlock it with my thumb anyway. Okay. Okay, one, two. Oh, oh, I can feel a little vibration. Oh, it really wants quite a lot of those. Let's see, we'll go this part of my finger, and that, and this, and now we'll go there, and that. Okay, I, am I supposed to do all the same ones? Okay, I guess it does say your finger, so it's singular. It wants all the same. All the same ones there. This is very Apple-esque. Okay, fingerprint added. Very nice, very nice. Uh, Alright, so after a few resets and all that good stuff, we finally have our new amazing $40 phone uh, running quite well on a completely free service, uh, Freedom Pop. So if we uh, pull that down there, you can see it says AT&T under uh, service plans there. That's the uh, Freedom Pop SIM. So that's all good to go. Uh, one annoying thing is that uh, a little thing will pop up at the top here that says um, that says uh, Verizon SIM no inserted. You just got to swipe over on that every time you uh, reboot the phone. Uh, so I guess that's one a small payment uh, you have to make uh, to get uh, such an amazing bargain on this. So one thing you want to do just to make sure that uh, Verizon doesn't lock you out later with some sort of an update. They decide they, they don't like people using their uh, $40 phones on, on uh, other uh, affordable services there. You want to go in here to settings, go down to about phone, scroll down to build number, and then tap that a bunch of times, and then boom, you're a developer. And then after that, you go back to settings. Uh, let's see, you should see there should be a new option called developer options right there. And then there should be an option here that says disable automatic updates. Automatic system updates, turn that off. And that basically makes sure that uh, the phone will keep running for you fine for a long time. And uh, basically after that, you're done. You got your uh, new amazing $40 phone. And uh, now we'll just, uh, I'll do a, a quick run through on the review there for you. Uh, I have to say it does feel quite nice. Uh, the, the edge of the screen is uh, slightly bezeled, which is nice, it's light. Um, the back texture is uh, kind of, I'll light it up here a bit. The back has kind of a, it's a grippy texture. It's not real smooth like my, uh, real smooth like my, my Nexus 6, it slips out of your hand quite easily, so I have a plastic cover I put on it. Um, the fingerprint scanner seems to work amazingly well. Uh, uh, amazingly well, especially for a phone of this price. I'm, I'm quite impressed with that. Because like I said, even a lot of uh, high-end phones from last year, maybe the year before, maybe not this year, the more they're getting it, uh, don't even have the fingerprint scanner, but you just put your finger on there and then it goes, you're on. Uh, and this is actually not a button. Uh, this is uh, some sort of capacitive screen thing here. So that's nice. The power button's on the side, the uh, volume button's above it. Uh, it has an eight megapixel uh, camera. It's very snappy, although it is brand new, so there's no, uh, you know, apps bogging it down yet, so you never know. But it has an 8 megapixel camera on the back with a flash, and then a 5 megapixel selfie camera on the front. And this is something that's only made it to uh, phones, even high-end phones recently. This is They've been stuck at 2 megapixels for a long time. And then a, a selfie flash is something I've never seen before. So I'm actually quite impressed with that. Okay, next, and blah, 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 what is this? Okay, we'll do that. We'll just try the camera. That's nice, double tap the uh, power button to uh, do the camera. A lot of phones have that now. Interesting, so this actually has a built-in QR uh, code scanner, which is nice, because on my other phone I have a stupid app I have to load for that. Uh, photo size 8 megapixel, there you go. And I'll try, we'll just take a quick photo here. There you go, that was, that was fairly fast. Put it on video mode here, let's see what it looks like. Uh, see, let record. Oh, there we go, moving around there. See, zoom in there. I mean, 8 megapixels perfectly respectable. I mean, you have to remember, uh, Apple phones have only had 8 megapixel 
up until the 6S, I believe, they were stuck at 8 megapixels, so it's really not bad. Uh, oh, I'm still recording, I'm done with that. <laughs> and uh, let's see, what do these buttons do? I got a flashlight button up there. Oh, that's the flash, the light button. Quite bright, I have to say, quite bright there. I'll turn that off. Um, and then we will uh, try out the selfie light here. We'll see, I'll turn it around there. I'm telling the selfie camera. That is not bad. It's fairly wide angle. Oh, hello over there. That, that, there's me. There's my arm. See, handing up. Um, and like I said, the amazing thing with this is the... Oh, where is that? Stupid. No. Where is that? The... Um, where is it? How do you get that flash to go on? Eh, where is it? That one? No. Stop. Okay. Switch to the camera. Oh, there, there we go. I'll put the flash on. And sure enough, it has a... It has a selfie flash, something I've seen very rarely on other phones. Okay, you got the idea on that. Uh, okay, <laughs> so back to this. Like I said, it's snappy. Uh, it's, it's running almost stock Android. It has a quad-core processor. Um, it works. It has Google Assistant, all the new stuff. Uh, how can I help you? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, you get that. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so otherwise, quite nice. I think you can use this as a home button. No, you can't. Oh, so that turns it off as well. Interesting. Okay. So the uh, capacitive uh, fingerprint reader actually turns it off as well as on. Isn't that interesting? That makes it quite easy to use. Um, and otherwise, it's your standard uh, Android phone. Uh, it has a quad-core processor, 2 gigabytes of RAM, I believe. Uh, removable memory, which is incredible. You saw behind the back cover, there's this, actually a SIM card slot in there. Uh, even though it has 16 gigs of built-in memory, it has a SIM card slot inside, which is something that almost no phones have, and they should. It's stupid that they don't. Uh, it's a 5-inch screen, 720p, um, which is considered, I guess, a little low these days, but it's still, what, 290 pixels per inch, which qualified as quote-unquote retina display uh, not too long ago. It's just that they've gone crazy high, like 4K, but it's perfectly sharp, you know. Um, it's 720p, it's not like it's low res. I mean, you have to remember the original iPhone was like, what, 320 by 240 resolution, something crazy like that. Um, I guess uh, we'll give it one more test. Let's try firing up, let's try giving it, let's, let's play a game here. Uh, let's see, uh, let's find something graphics intensive, and we'll just, we'll see what, we'll see what's popular in the game department these days. Uh, let's see, games, let's see, top charts. Uh, let's see, top pay, top free. Okay, let's find something graphically intensive. Roblox, that sounds good. So we finally got Roblox installed, and, uh, it, and it moves. It's quite snappy. It's quite snappy, actually. Uh, I, I don't know what the bloody hell. This is like some sort of, you know, friggin', you know, clone of... Uh, what's that other one? The popular game. Uh, you know, I don't understand. But it moves fast, and, uh, you know, honestly, one of the nice things uh, about this phone, the, the lower-end phones, is even though it's a quad-core processor, it's not top of the line, of course, for $40, what can you expect? But the nice thing is, because of that, it doesn't tend to overheat, uh, which is quite nice, because on my other phone, like I showed you earlier, the, uh, the Nexus 6, this was top of the line, you know, three years ago. Um, and it does overheat. If you use it too much, if you leave it on the dash of your car or whatever, it'll slow way down. Uh, you don't tend to have those problems with the uh, low-end phones like this. Even though, I mean, really, what makes it low-end, I don't know. So there you go, basically stock Android, a fairly good phone. It's got everything you need, $40. It'll work on any uh, a GSM carrier after you uh, apply the unlock code. It will no work on Sprint uh, because Sprint uses whitelisted uh, ESNs and it will no work on Sprint uh, um, virtual networks either. So just make sure whatever you're using it is a GSM based network or a virtual network. Uh, so anything T-Mobile or AT&T based, Freedom Pop, uh, Red Pocket, I think, uh, Mint SIM, any of those, they'll all work with this. Or internationally, you just pop in your SIM and you're good to go. So there you go, I think we call the Moto E4 the uh, the best bargain in uh, in phones on the market right now, I'd have to say completely. Uh, quite a nice phone, good size, not too big, not too small. Um, 
and that is you can buy at the Amazon link below and then buy the unlock codes uh, at the link below as well. All right, see you later.